Guys, guys, that's actually a bat. That is the first time outside of any other setting, like a zoo setting, I have ever seen a bat. Oh my gosh, where are you going? Where are you here, buddy? He's just going around in loops. What is he doing awake at this time of day? Oh my gosh, there's a bat loose. This is so exciting. I hope he's okay. Wow. Is he eating? This is the first time I've ever seen a bat just out in the wild. And he's in my driveway right now. This is amazing. Oh, there he was. Oh my gosh. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is again. He's above me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, bat. Where'd you go? Alright, I think he just went into my neighbor's chimney. Oh wait, no, there he is! Holy days! Wow! This is so cool. I wonder if he's gonna land or something. I'm gonna see. There he is. He's really fast. Wow. I think he just finally, nope, there he goes again. I keep thinking that he's landed in my neighbor's chimneys, but look at that. Why is he out? I hope he's not in distress or something. Guys, there he is. He finally landed. Look, that is a bat, a real life bat on the side of a tree. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. I'm going to see if I can get closer to him, but there he is. He's making noise. Oh my gosh. So how exciting was this? This is the first time I've ever seen a bat so close in person. And don't worry, I actually wasn't very close to this wild animal, as we should not get close to wild animals, right guys? I was using my fancy new wildlife camera that I got to be able to bring you guys moments and shots like these when we get a chance to see some new animals up close and personal from a very safe distance away. I was really excited to see this bat, but I was a little bit worried because it was the middle of the day, or I should say getting on towards sunset, and it's very uncommon to see bats out at that time. In fact, I got into a Twitter conversation with one of our zoo crafting members, Jacob, who also studies wildlife, and usually when you see a bat outside, it means that it's sick and you should contact wildlife rehabilitation or just stay out of the way to make sure that it may not have any illnesses that you could catch or anything that it could pass around, but I actually think this bat was out and about because we have some very curious and very active red tail hawks that constantly frequent the ravine behind my home. I think this was a big brown bat and that means there's a likelihood that it could have been taking a nice nap deep inside of trees nearby and the next thing it knows a red tail hawk because they've been ripping mini branches off the trees nearby lately could have started shaking things around and startled them out from their roost but I was sure to look up a lot of information about what to do if you find a bat outdoors and you're worried about if it's sick or not thankfully this bat didn't fit any of the qualifications of laying on the ground or a lot of erratic behavior or having anything foaming from the mouth so I'm going to just go with the optimistic view that this bat was falling victim or almost fell victim to the very aggressive and very curious red tail hawks that live in this area and have been really working hard on catching prey in order to take care of what are probably gr their growing fledglings hiding in a nest somewhere nearby. I actually have some great video to show you guys of the red tail hawks I just haven't been able to put it together yet but I'm just getting so eager and excited to share more of these wildlife adventures with all of you. Hopefully I'll be able to compile everything and present, if not some polished specimen spotlights, then some really fun adventure and expedition vlogs like these. I hope you guys have enjoyed and be sure to check the video description for some information about what to do if you happen to find a bat. And remember, it's never safe to get close to wildlife. I was a good distance away from these guys. I was just able to get uh, some really great views thanks to the camera gear I have. So stay safe safe and I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope we can talk more about bats in the near future. I hear there's actually a rescue sanctuary for some fruit bats nearby and I would really love to go see those guys. So stay curious everybody and I will see you on the next adventure. Bye bye!